Okay, here we have a failure scenario on a job that we're working on and you can see here that uh, this intumescent here has been sprayed on these steel beams. This is a, a plant room where there's a, a very high spec and high thickness primer being applied uh, due to the environment of uh, the steel. So uh, it's got about 400 to 500 microns of primer on there which is above average, it's very much above average but it's been okayed by the manufacturer as long as it's abraded. This area hasn't been abraded. It's also been applied during the winter. It's cold and there's early dew points and there's a lot of humidity around it's in Scotland. So what we think's happened here is um, this intermittent's been applied possibly in the afternoon uh, and the conditions have deteriorated very quickly after uh, the application of the intumescent paint and what's happened is moisture's got through the film and got into the surface and then as it dries out and as it warms up uh, you get the, the evaporation of the moisture that's got into the film and it breaks the film apart and cracks it down, breaks it down. Possibly there was even moisture on the surface during the point of application. Shouldn't have been of course but uh, it, it sometimes moisture is invisible uh, and sometimes uh, contractors don't check the conditions before they, they spray a particular area. So um, this is what happens when intumescent is applied out of spec. Uh, you have to remember that intumescent should be applied and cured in the right conditions. So typically 3 degrees above the dew point, typically 5 degrees C is the steel temperature. It needs to be applied in those conditions but also cured in these conditions. And a thick film of uh, intumescent a millimetre thick can take 6, 8, 10, 12 hours to cure. So, uh, yeah. during the winter, you don't get long periods where you can apply these intumescent coatings.